Oh, don't you love white saviors? Let me tell you a little story, hon. When I was a kid, I spent many summers in Addis Ababa, Utopia. And one particular summer, the house next door was being rented by two missionaries, very nice people. And they wanted to take an eight-day trip to La Libala, Utopia, and save the people, save these primitive savages and convert them to the right way. La Libala is a holy site. Eight days passed by, they never came back. It's like they disappeared. Two weeks after they're supposed to come back, someone came from the church to collect their belongings. Mm -hmm. While they were collecting their belongings, the landlord had a little chat with a translator. After they left, the landlord came over to gossip with my family. I listened in. Get this, here's what happened. These two missionaries never made it to their final destinations. They stopped by a village with some savages to be saved. They told these savages that their 1,000 year old Bible is satanic and wrong. And they gave them an edited Bible. You know what these savages did? They beat them. They sent them to the hospital. I don't know if they made it. But you know, they're savages. Oh dear, don't let these stories scare you. Times have changed. We need people to do God's work. There is less missionaries disappearing right now. But you know what I find strange? That there is more missionaries now coming into Ethiopia as America is discussing sanctions against Ethiopia. Weird, huh? Mm-hmm.